Let's make pomfret fish fry. Start by washing your hands. Very good. First step, score the fish. I've already given you too many compliments today. Pound some ginger and garlic together to make a paste for the marinade. Very good. What else do you expect, Jala? A parade? Add the spices to the ginger garlic paste. Try to feel the proportions, hmm? Not bad. Is that good enough for you? Really work the marinade into the fish. Could be much worse. Light the stove and heat the oil in the pan. Decently done. Now we fry. Acceptable effort. Mm. How is it, Amma? A little heavy handed on the turmeric, but otherwise decent. Thanks, Ma. Don't get ahead of yourself. There's room for improvement. Wow, this is a very intimidating group of women. Jala, thank you for... I called you all because we need to talk about what's happening with these kids in town. You really picked Jala for this job? Salma can't stand her, and I'm pretty sure Aisha has a burn book full of her yearbook photos. No offense. Offense very much taken, thank you. Soundy wouldn't let me in. She was my only option. Oh, yeah. It has nothing to do with the torch you're still carrying for her. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you sounded jealous. Come on, Tyler. Aren't we all on the same team? Oh, so you're taking her side? Who's jealous now, freak of the night? Say one more word and you lose a bun. You wouldn't dare. Try me, princess. Ladies, my shop is not the place for a cat fight. <laughs> oh, oh, good one, Auntie C. Didn't two librarians pull each other's hair out over you right here last week? What? 
that's not... Ladies, let's remember what this is about. The kids. Do you think you're getting through to them, Jala? Convincing them to kick that soundy to the curb? I'm cautiously optimistic. You can count on me. Ugh, famous last words. Seriously. Uh-oh, they're ganging up on you now. You have the same mindset as a teenager. Just speak their language. A2, auntie? Salma will barely talk to me. So I guess Jala is our only hope. God help us. God abandoned us a long time ago. We live in hell. That's the positive attitude I know and love, Tyler, dear. Go see what's going on at the park, Jala. Hopefully what you've done is enough. Jala, my guest of honor, welcome! What's this about? Maybe he's got some kindergartners for you to fight this time. Which would you rather fight? One giant five-year-old or ten Aishas, but she's kindergarten-sized? Jala, Jala, Jala. You don't yet know your place in Barefoot's future, do you? I brought you here to test my cup leader's mettle, and you've defeated them all. You've showed them that they aren't ready how much they still needed me. By crushing them, you've crushed the descent inside which only distracts from barefoot and from my teachings. Thank you, Jala. I truly couldn't have done it without you. Come on, Donato, uh, Cece, Salma. Salma, you cannot be okay with this. Sometimes it's the devil you know. You know? At least we'll still have a skate park with Soundy. Will you? You can't trust him. He's not even hiding it. And we know a thing or two about broken trust. It sucks. Don't you see? It's already too late. You broke their spirits for me. And thus, the future of Barefoot is secure under my care. Under your thumb, you mean? Fear not, Jola. There's always room for you here. Right by...
great. Soundy's still on his throne, and the kids are more committed than ever. Congratulations, Jala. You somehow found a way to make a bad situation worse. Oh, I don't know why I was delusional enough to think getting you involved would be a good idea. You emanate disaster. This is just a setback. We can regroup, try another approach. We are not going to do anything. This is no longer a joint enterprise. I'll handle it from now on. Tyler. It's what I should have done from the get-go. This town isn't your responsibility. You're just gonna leave again anyway, aren't you? I could imagine staying, if I had a reason to. Good luck finding one, or not. It's none of my business. You made that clear. I never should have asked for your help. The truth is, Jala, you're just a tourist. Nothing that happens here really matters to you. You can fix things or mess them up even more. Even if you do, you can just leave. You don't have to live with it. But I do. Don't you think we need to have a real conversation, Tyler? Why? So we can hurt each other some more? I'm doing us both a favor. There's nothing to be salvaged here, so why bother diving into the wreck? Why don't we skip to the end? Save ourselves the inevitable disappointment. Tyler. Goodbye, Jala. Messing with our gems. These were stolen fair and square. Do you always do as your grandma tells you? Pathetic. <laughs> You're kind of cute, if I use my imagination. of looking at your face. Time for you to run home.
Did you get dressed in the dark this morning? map at Loops. It'll show you the quickest way out of town. Bye! Tunes make me seem groovy, baby. Please don't tell me your hair's like that on purpose. <laughs> I get that a lot. Thank 
goodness. I knew you'd come through. I swear, if the local scene got flooded with bootlegs again, I was gonna lose it. Sounds like you need a better hiding spot. Or some hired muscle to strike fear into the hearts of your enemies. What do you think I called you for? Not your conversational skills, that's for sure. You're more about body language anyway. In all seriousness, thank you. I've been so busy with festival planning, this was the last thing I needed. These tapes are for very dear repeat customers, and my mixes are custom curated every time. They look sick as hell, Andale. You can really tell the love you put in. So, uh, Jala, your Amma and I have something to tell you tomorrow. What's the diagnosis? Did you get a second opinion? Is it the C word? No, no, oh my god, I'm perfectly healthy, apart from a slight cashew nut deficit. Your mom makes me jog, Jala. Brown men were not meant to jog, we're natural amblers. The point, Appa? It just. Be nice to Amma tomorrow, okay, Jala Pataka? And try your best to stay calm. Let me get this straight. You've been meeting Jala every day for the last week. And you didn't have an emotional confrontation dripping with sexual tension, barely disguised as a psychodrama battle? Hmm, what can I say? I don't like to follow the crowd. You really think you're better than us, don't you? Andale. No, they're right. You've said as much, Tyler, repeatedly. <laughs> wow, Irfan, speaking up for yourself. I didn't know you had it in you. You think we're pathetic. You've made it pretty clear. Just be honest, Tyler. Honesty? You want honesty? Fine. I'm jealous, okay? I, I know I shouldn't be. It's not even about you. But she chose every one of you over me. I was never enough for her. Tyler. I am that petty. Is that what you wanted to hear? I'm still hung up on her, even after everything. You think I think I'm better than you? That you're pathetic? What a goddamn joke. Jala only dumped the rest of you once. Jala, you're finally awake. I've already had three cups of tea, a walk, a long chat with the neighbor, and solved the cryptic crossword in the paper. It should be illegal to be so cheerfully productive in the morning. Fresh air and good digestion are necessary to any enterprise, even a criminal one. I always suspected she was a mob boss. Well, if the very concept of morning is too much for you, I don't know how you're going to face the rest of this conversation. Mini? Wait, Dad was both cryptic and ominous last night. Amma's extra spicy this morning. All signs point to imminent disaster. Maybe you should drink some more tea, Jala. 
Get it over with. I can't stand the suspense. You warned her, didn't you? Not a word, Minnie. I swear. We agreed. Children, can we focus up here, please? My mother is coming to Timber Hills. Oh, that explains it. Explains what, exactly? Patti is the only person who terrifies Mom. It's like a switch flips and she turns into this insecure little girl wanting approval. Everything has to be perfect. Nothing is good enough. Especially not us. Hmm? Jala? You had a grand insight to share? I forgot. Hmm. She swore she'd never leave Bangalore for anywhere with worse weather. Which rules out pretty much the entire Northern Hemisphere, much less the Pacific Northwest. We thought we were safe. Well, your party might not be the most traditional Indian grandmother. But she's still an Indian grandmother. Did you really think she'd miss her eldest grandchild's wedding? Yeah. Maybe we should have seen this coming. Speaking of which, Aruni's still avoiding you, isn't she? I've looked for her everywhere, but she's sneaky. You said I should give them their own space, and that they'd figure things out in their own time. Well, I still think it has its merits. My mother's flight lands tomorrow, Arvind. Tomorrow! Had its merits, I should say. I fully agree. Circumstances have somewhat overtaken us. I'm putting an end to this nonsense. Jala, it's time to make Kiribat. Bunny Chow? Really, you haven't asked for those in years. Not since high school, from my memory. Uh-oh, she's getting suspicious. Abort, abort! Is this really for you, Jala? I wanted to make some for Andale. It's funny, I've made it so many times, but I've forgotten how. What's funny, Jala, is how little I remember about this Andale person. You aren't involving me in some scheme, are you? Does everything have to be an interrogation of my moral character? This house is a kangaroo court, your honor. I... Very well, Jala. Between Aruni's wedding, party's imminent arrival, and... You... I don't have the time or energy to fight. I'll teach you. Come on. That was too easy. I bet she was already hungry. Start by washing your hands. Adequate. Do not underestimate the challenge of this recipe, Jala. Chop the garlic and ginger finely. Got it. Uh-uh. You're not done yet. You'll need to cut the potatoes and lamb into cubes, too. Maybe we should invest in a mandolin. Nonsense. We have no need for some specialized medieval French contraption. I'll just start dicing the onions. You almost did it. Stop trying to look pathetic. If you really need a break, I can take over. This feels like a trap. So? What? Should I take over? Since it's too difficult for you? No, I'm not tired. I'm fine. I got it. Hmm. Good. Wow. She sounded downright approving. You'll need to get comfortable doing this often, Jala. Taking care of a family is hard work. Ah, your hypothetical offspring have been officially invoked. And you've barely been chatting ten minutes. I really need to focus on this chopping in silence, Amma. Sorry. Well done, Jala. Touchdown! That's what they say in basketball, no? Finally. All right. Light the stove and heat up some vegetable oil in a pan with a good bottom. Ha! She said bottom. Get your mind out of the gutter, Jala. <laughs> she said bottom. <laughs> like working with a child. You could be a decent cook. Someday. 
Start by browning ginger, garlic and onion until just fragrant. Don't step away or get distracted, Jala, or it'll burn and taste horrible. Whatever you say, Ma. I'm taking time out of my day to give you good advice, madam. The least you can do is be respectful. Uh-oh, I can see your eyebrows furrowing and I'd like to get out of this alive? Sorry, Ma. Please, continue. Mm-hmm. Just stir before this meal is utterly ruined. Just like my mood. I knew you had my cooking genes. I finally remembered Andale. Oh no. They're Tyler's best friend, aren't they? Oh, Jala, did you really try and get between them? Maybe I was a little jealous, and maybe I didn't handle it well. Maybe. Maybe. When it comes to Tyler, even though you're a smart girl, you're emotionally stupid. When it comes to love, your judgment goes out the window. I truly cannot predict your behavior. It's enough to send me to an early grave. When have you ever won challenging mom directly like this? You have to learn to act weak, Jala. I've only been home a few days, Ma. I just want to spend time with you. This isn't about Andale or Tyler or anyone else. Can we just focus on us? Okay, Jala. Victory! It's time to add the lamb to the masala mix. You can handle that, can't you? Yes, Ma. Sorry, was I supposed to praise your average performance? Finally, we hollow out a loaf of bread to stir, pour and serve the bunny chow in. You made the bread as well? You could use store-bought, if you don't care what your food tastes like. I just like things to be done correctly. Now, let's finish the job. It was fine. How much validation do you need? Mm. So, how is it? It's acceptable. Jeez, thanks for the high praise. Oh, Jala, you know what I mean. Try again and maybe you'll improve. Give me something else to say. Do not be fooled into thinking kiribat is a simple breakfast dish made of rice and coconut milk. Kiribat is an institution, a way of life, a trial of Sri Lankan culinary skill, and let's be real, femininity. For our mother, an Indian Tamil woman married to a Sri Lankan Sinhalese man, kiribat doesn't symbolize prosperity or mark celebratory occasions. Oh no. Each perfectly made dish is evidence that she cares, that she belongs, that she is worthy. Let's go! Jala and Mom versus Kiribat. Knockout in round one. No, I meant to inspire awe and appropriate fear, not whatever this is. Are you daydreaming, Jala? What could possibly be more important than fixing your relationship with your sister? I'm fantasizing about our joyful reunion. Visualizing. Manifesting, even. Try and manifest some attention, please, and thank you. Why do you look so nervous, Jala? I'm planning to eat the kiribat, not you. Start by washing your hands.
Very good. We will make kiribat. You will take the kiribat to Aruni and you will patch up today. Kiribat isn't even her favorite though. It's not about the kiribat. It's about the carefully balanced application of threat and emotional manipulation. Wow, mom. That actually explains so much about our childhoods. Now wash the rice till the water runs clear. Better than last time we put together. Party can smell domestic discord, so I don't care if you two have to pretend everything's fine. Just put on a good show. That's all I ask. Don't worry, Ma. We won't let you down. Message received. That's all you're gonna say? Did you leave your spine in Jennifer's apartment? It's probably wherever you lost your tact. All I'm doing is telling you to stand up for yourself. Earth to Jala, hello. Shred the coconut, please. Today, if possible. Oh, so you are paying attention. Blend the coconut with water. Not too fine, not too coarse. I'll try. Don't try. Set your mind to do it properly. Dance, little Jala, dance. Your Auntie Chandra would be thrilled. Then again, I saw her burn rice twice. After fixing your mess with Aruni, I still have to clean the house, do the laundry, and cook Pati's favorites for tomorrow. Sounds like... Ugh. No, we are not saying that. You need to stand up for yourself. Were you saying something, Jala? Um, uh... Mm. All right then. Now hand mix the coconut milk till it's silky smooth. Your dad would say you did well. But I'm not your dad. Now go wash your hands. What are we, a kid? We don't need to be told that. You're supposed to be the voice inside my head, not the one coming out of my mouth. Then tell her what you really think, so I won't have to. Adequate. Now thin down the coconut milk with water and mix it with the rice. Oh, come on, really? Nothing to say, Jala. That's a change. You could be a decent cook. Someday. You're being suspiciously quiet, Jala. It's starting to make me nervous. Okay then, now it's time to add the sea salt. Not bad. Is that good enough for you? Now it's time to light the stove. Say something, Jala, tell the truth. Isn't it time? You almost did it correctly. Jala, just open your mouth. Oh, damn, the pan's hot. Pour the mixture in, quick! Sorry, was I supposed to praise your average performance? Just open your mouth, Jala. The truth will fall right out. All you need to do is let it. Don't you trust me? I don't trust myself right now. Isn't that the same thing? Jala? Jala! Seriously, Jala, cover the rice and let it cook in the coconut milk. Are you really giving me the silent treatment? Today, of all days. Not everything is about you, Ma. That's more like it. Stir the rice before it goes lumpy, or we'll have to start all over again. It was fine. How much validation do you need? 
this time try to stir the rice as though you're not expressing your buried resentment towards me. How about you stop taking out your anxiety about Bhatti coming tomorrow on me? I'm just trying to help you. You just want me to play the perfect daughter so you can put on a show to Bhatti. Keep going, Jala. You're on a roll. Well, guess what, Ma? Maybe I'm not perfect. Maybe you aren't perfect either. Sing it, sister. Decently done. I see. You're worried about Aruni. That's what this drama is all about. Wow, did she even hear you? Are you going to let her get away with minimizing our feelings? You don't think she'll forgive you. You're scared to face her. If you had that much insight into my feelings, why did you spring a deadline on me this morning? It's hard enough to work through our issues without you pressuring me all of a sudden. You have no idea how complicated my relationship with Patti is. How hard it is for me, so don't presume. No, don't say anything. The rice needs to cool off, and so do we. All I'm asking for is a little empathy, Jala. No, you just want me not to show you up in front of Patti. Why can't you just be on my side for once? Why can't you be on mine? I'm always on your side, Jala. You're the only one who doesn't see that. Oh, Kiri Bath should be made with love, not anger. So let's set this argument and the rice aside, all right? Are you really going to let her end the conversation like that? What gives her the right? Of course I'm not. I'm just working up to what I want to say. Don't think, just say it. I don't think that's very good advice. Coward. Let's start on the sambal while the rice sets. The richness of the milk rice contrasts with the sambal's heat. See, Jala? Everything has to be a balance. What happened to setting aside the argument? What? I was talking about the kiribat. Is she kidding us? At least admit it. I'm not stupid. Did I say you were stupid, Jala? Please stop overreacting to the smallest comment. I think you should focus on what you're going to say to Aruni instead of interfering with me and my mother. You've never actually talked about her. You just go into this frenzy whenever she visits. Not everything is easy to talk about, Jala. So let me get this straight. She's allowed to meddle in your life, but you can't even ask questions? Now chop up the onions. Roughly will do. They don't have to be perfect. We'll grind them up later. Ha! I handed you that one. Acceptable efforts. We're doing so well, Jala. Why are you stopping now? Just because she made a joke? I can't believe her. Stop swallowing it all down. You know exactly what you want to say to her. What you've always wanted to say. I can't. You can. Just spit it out. Sometimes you are just like your mother. Yes. <laughs> Didn't that feel good? I feel kind of lightheaded. That's good, right? That's relief. That's release. That's catharsis, baby. Say something, Ma. Add the red chili flakes. More than you think you'll need. Sambal needs to be fiery. You won't completely embarrass me in front of party. You know, Jala, sometimes I hate how much I see myself in you. I moved continents to get away from my mother. Compared to that, you didn't go that far. You moved here when we were just kids. Is she really still angry with you? I broke her heart. I did it knowingly. And I don't regret it. Is it really fair to ask her to get over that? Ma, I... Ah, look at that. Time to crush everything up with the mortar and pestle. Go on now.
That's one way of doing things. You came back home. That's the important thing. And the last thing I want to do is drive you away again. I don't want that either. We'll work on it. Okay, Emma? Suck up. Just a few kind words and you roll over for her? I don't want you to feel like you have to run away from me, Jala. Can't you see she's manipulating you? Look at that. We're nearly done with this kiribat. And not too soon. Do you really think you fixed anything today? <laughs> no way. You just papered over the cracks. Second to last step, add the cured tuna. I know I said you have to fix things with Aruni, but it's all right if you can't. I'll just deal with whatever party has to say about it. I mean, who cares what my mother thinks, right? <laughs> uh, look, don't answer that. Final step, cut up the kiribath into nice even pieces. Adequate. The moment of truth. Time to taste what you've made. So, does it taste good enough to inspire a miraculous sibling reconciliation? Hopefully she doesn't take this as a poisoning attempt. That bad? Really? Don't let her eat any till after your conversation. Thanks for the advice. Start by washing your hands. You almost did it correctly. Well done, Jala. Touchdown. That's what they say in basketball, no? Better than last. Oh, so you are paying attention. Adequate. Your Auntie Chandra would be thrilled. Then again, I saw her burn rice twice. You could be a decent cook. Someday. Your dad would say you did, but I'm... Not bad. Is that good enough for you? Sorry, was I supposed to pray? It was fine. How much? Now we let it cool down a little. My mouth's watering already. Don't be tempted to have a taste. You'll burn your mouth. I know from experience.
I won't have you wasting my time and my ingredients. You're learning. Adequate. I see improve. I've already given you to the moment of truth. Time to taste what you've made. I smell something delicious. I hope you know I risked my life for this. I had to cook with my mom. How is Auntie Rukmini? Neurotically in my business, as always, reminds me why I skipped town in the first place. Blaming your mother for all your problems? Haven't you heard Freud's out of fashion these days? Well, my stomach thanks you for your sacrifice and bravery. Congrats, Jala. You've reached a new low, getting Mom to emotionally blackmail me into meeting you with Kiriboth. I actually expected better of you. Guess that's on me, huh? Mom sprung this on me, same as you. What a convenient story. Next you'll tell me we have to stick together in the face of parental pressure. Isn't it already obvious she doesn't want to be here? And why is this all your fault anyway? She's the older sister. Can you just give me some space here? The commentary's not helping. I'm just looking out for you. So what? You wanted to talk, so talk. I know I've been a shit sister. I promise I'll do everything I can to make it up to you. And what about her? I'm the one who's been looking out for you all this time. And I should believe you, why exactly? Let's be really honest. You're not back in town to make up with me or mom and dad or anyone else. You came back 
because Jennifer threw you out and you had nowhere else to go. You know how Jennifer is. Don't you even care what she did to me? Or would that interrupt your one-woman pity party? That's right, Jala. Get angry. You deserve to be angry. God damn, Jennifer. I could kill her. I really could. You have no idea how worried I was every time you didn't pick up the phone. I take it she encouraged you to cut off contact with us? At first, she just listened to me complain, you know? But then she started saying that mom was toxic and you and dad were enabling her. Well, it didn't help that mom was so mad at me. She could barely say a word on the phone those first few months. You were protecting yourself. It's understandable. Don't you dare let yourself off the hook that easy, Jala. You broke mom and dad's hearts. You were always their favorite. Are you kidding? You're an engineer. You're getting married to a man, a brown man. You're the kind of daughter Asian moms invent to brag about. They'd hide me in a closet. I can conclusively say there is no closet in the world that could contain you, Jala. You know, Auntie C actually cried. That old battle axe, <sighs> forget it. It's done now. I just want to know one thing. You and Tyler, are you still in love with her? I don't remember a time when I didn't love her. I really hoped you wouldn't say that. For someone so smart, you're an absolute dope when it comes to the people you love. Either you really need to pee, or you have a question you're dying to ask, which is it? So, is Ahmed the man of your dirty dreams? Are you in love? Is he good in bed? Uh, yes, yes, and you have no idea. You little freak. For some reason, he really wants to meet you and cares about your dumb opinion. He's actually nice and a good person whose soul hasn't been crushed by life. Try not to be a complete mega bitch when you meet him, okay? Promise. How can she say that about us? You're barely a deck -a bitch A kill -a bitch at worst. How have you been, really? How's work? Any planes fall out of the sky recently? Keep your voice down. Everyone knows I'm an engineer at Boeing, dummy. Should be illegal to love your job this much. I got a promotion last month, and it's also where I met Ahmed. Wow. Was it a nerd beat cute? Did he desperately need to borrow a stapler? <gasps> Did his engine break and you were the only one who could bring it whirring back to life? God is testing me right now. How do you still know nothing about what I actually do? When I left home, you were pretty adamant that you didn't want to get married. And now, this. Does that mean you've changed your mind about having kids too? What if I have? Nothing. It's all good. Takes the pressure off me. Yes, my every major life decision is guided solely by its impact on you. Arnie, be honest with me. I need to know. Are we good? Good. Good? I hate you for not calling. I hate Jennifer for taking advantage of you. I hate mom and dad for not doing more. I hate myself for ever letting her near you. That is not on you. Isn't it? Isn't it? So where do we go from here? We both made mistakes. We can keep going over them or just move forward. I'll forgive you if you forgive me. Deal. Maybe she forgives you now, but do you think she'll ever really look at you the same way? Every time you make the tiniest mistake, hurt her feelings, say the wrong thing, it'll all come crumbling down. How long do you think you can keep up the perfect sister act, Jala? Do you even really want to? Deep down? I guess whatever happens between us, I can't stop being an older sister. I spoke to Tyler for you last night. Set up a meet. She'll be waiting for you outside the skate park. Don't thank me. Just promise me one thing. Stay celibate until my wedding.